Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. And if it's the first time you're passing through, welcome to my channel. And you must love Love Island to click on this link. So hopefully you like my little review. For um, return subscribers, you obviously like Love Island too. Otherwise you won't be clicking on the link. Anyway, this is going to be a quick one because there wasn't that much happening today. But the first thing I um, that drew my attention was out of sight, out of mind. The words of Mr. Callum, who's got chemistry with Molly. And yeah, it's quite nice to see him light up. Because with Shauna, she was doing all the running. She's the one that had to keep on telling him to touch her and hold her hand and do this and do that. You know, and... If a man likes or, or is attracted to a woman or has chemistry for a woman, you don't have to tell him to do all of that. You don't have to tell him to kiss her and touch her and hold her hand and all that stuff. So the fact that Shauna had to ask for everything she wanted, that was a red flag. Now with Molly, he just wants to rip her clothes off, doesn't he? You know, he instinctively wants to kiss her, instinctively wants to hold her and touch her and stuff. What a difference. So, yeah, sorry, Shauna, you are going to be devastated. But you can't go around asking men to do what they should do naturally if they fancy you. Many fancy women, they make them know. They, you know, they compliment them. They, you know... I mean, look at the difference. I don't think I've heard Callum pay Shauna a compliment. I really don't think so. And yet with Molly, like I say, different people bring out different sides of a personality. Um, what else? Naz and Eve. Oh, Naz, I'm loving him more every day. He's not going to kiss Eve out of respect for Demi. How sweet is that? You know, outside the game, that is. You know, that is really, really nice. I mean, that really is respectful. I don't think it'll go down very well. But I thought she liked one of those blokes. It doesn't look like it now. It looks like she's waiting for... Shame. Looks like she's waiting for Naz. I think this part is so embarrassing. When they're waiting for somebody and the guy comes in with someone else, which he will. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But with Eve, they do have heritage in common, you know, even though it's just quarter and half, but they still have a similarity in culture. They will be able to understand each other's culture. So, yeah, that is a better match. Who else is there? I don't know what Jess is doing. Um, I guess she's pulling the best out of a bad bunch, really, because... Um, with Mike, I don't, I don't hear how they rap. I don't hear how they talk together. Not unless they're not showing us that bit. I think Biggs is a nicer fella. I think he's a nicer bloke. He's not as attractive, but he is a nicer man. Well, in my opinion. And I like the way he said he wanted to get to know her as a friend and all that first. So he, he's not going to be mugged off. Whereas I think Jess, she needs someone to chase her all the time. She likes someone who's after her. You know, like with Mike, oh, you've got to prove that you want me. What does that prove? The fact that he ran around the villa and kissed you behind um, Luke M's back, does that prove anything? It doesn't because he's off with somebody else now. So that is absolutely stupid. If you think a man who runs you down means that he fancies you, you've got a screw loose. It doesn't work like that. And it shouldn't have to work like that. You shouldn't need a man to be running you down and, you know, making all these wild declarations because it don't mean squat and anybody can do that especially if they want to stay in the house. So those two guys, they're going to do that. But that's what I like about um, Biggs, because he's not pushing himself. Whereas the other one, I reckon that is why he's being territorial, because he wants to stay in the villa. So every time Jess is on her own or with somebody, he comes lurking around and she don't see it. He only wants to stay in the villa, love. And she sees that as, 
oh, you know, he's paying her more attention and blah. I don't know. Anyway, Mike and Priscilla. But they seem to be getting on really well. I thought he wouldn't like the blonde wig, but he's obviously quite open-minded. I thought it was a bit too contrasty. But, you know, she's not pleasing me. Mike's the one who's going to be dealing with her. If he likes it, so be it. Good for them. And he, she probably needs somebody who's open-minded like that and who's not going to say, where you go with that blonde wig? You think you're white. <laughs> you feel a nappy. That's what people say. They were telling people when they were to see people in a blonde wig, you think you're white. You feel a nappy and all that thing. Anyway, he likes her. Warts and all, which is important. And considers them a good match which is great what else Finn sleeping alone still what a sweetheart and Paige oh that's that's a good match you know what I'm, I'm thinking that they might win it you know Paige and Finn I'm thinking that they might because you can see it's genuine they're not doing it for the money or just to be in a couple you can tell now to me well, I shouldn't really say that, but the game players to me, I think it is Mike. I think he is, because there doesn't seem to be any consistency in, in his behaviour. I think Luke T and Shanice still, but there's not enough, um, I don't think they've been through enough trials. And, well, they do talk through their challenges. So maybe Shanice, I'm still going to vote for Shanice and Luke T because I really like that couple. But I'm beginning to like Finn and Paige a bit more. I think they come on slightly a bit genuine. But there again, Luke T and Shanice are fairly new. So they're still kind of walking on eggshells. But both of them have the same feelings. Both of them are not messing around. I don't know if somebody who liked um, Luke T had come into Casper more, whether he would have still remained faithful. We'll never know that. But yeah, but those two, yeah, we'll have to see how those two get on, as long as you don't shout at him too often. Um, who else was there? Shauna. But, oh, I mean, I understand the fact that, what did you say? Oh, she hasn't shaved her legs, but... She, that means she, have, she hasn't cleaned her teeth. That's what she said. She only she cleans her teeth when Callum's around. So what does that mean? She only cleans her teeth when she's out on a date. That didn't sound good. That's not a good look, Shauna. It's not a good look. And some of those girls without makeup. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I am not saying me never make anybody, so me can't say nothing. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, it must be quite hard to kiss on display or kiss on demand. I always say, um, especially with the black girls, not so much the black men, but the black girls. And when Mike um, wanted to kiss her, and you, it's just like you're in a bloody big bubble, aren't you? You just everybody's just staring and looking and cheering. I can't deal with that. I couldn't deal with that. If I want to kiss somebody, you know, it'd have to be bloody discreet. I'm not saying I, could, I couldn't peck somebody, you know, in public, give them a little peck, but not no full-blown snog while everybody's just sitting there staring. As though they're in, you know, as though you're in a zoo and they're all looking through the cage. That's what it looks like. So anyway, she kind of dismissed it all and got into it and that was good because because remember he's going to be comparing her with Leanne to see how reserved Leanne was how quick Leanne responded to him so he's only got that barometer at the moment so we'll have to see what happens um what else is there and then Shauna talking about if he comes in on his own she's going to make it official that's what I mean she's the one that's making all the demands <laughs> She's the one that's saying, I want him to hold my hand. I want him to do this. Now, she's the one that's going to say, I'm the one who's going to make it official. All in the other um, series, it's the man. 
he goes out, he get, puts all the flowers down, he tells his mates, look, keep her distracted, I'm going to tell her she's my girlfriend, I'm going to make it official, they go out and do all the bits and pieces, makes it all romantic, Shauna, oh no, she's the one that's going to say, I'm going to make it a fish, she ain't got a clue, has she, poor love, anyway, Callum said, um, he never said, oh yeah, and that's another thing, Callum has never said that he cares for Shauna, he's never demonstrated any kind of, that he cares about her at all, he's never said he cares about her, he's never said he likes her, I mean, she's always saying it to him, and telling him to say it to her, but he has never said that he cares about her, or that he loves her, or that there's any reason for her to want to take it to the next level, he's not convinced her, and if him leaving without leaving a memento on her bed isn't a telltale sign, I don't know what is, so well, is it tomorrow we're going to see it? No, I don't think tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's the recoupling, isn't it? Ooh, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, that's all for now for you Love Island fans. And if you're not a Love Island fan and just fancy listening to see what I'm going to say and you want something a bit more serious, I've got a couple of things lined up for tomorrow. So I'll put on my serious face for tomorrow. But for now, I'm quite happy. Love Island is finished and I can go to my bed. Bye.